Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Happy midday to you all. This is Storm Track 7 meteorologist Robbie coming over. Here's a look at the quick setup again. This is the storm system off to our north and to our west. This is the cold front that we're going to be tracking. That's going to give us the chance uh, for some strong to severe storms later on tonight. The chance is the better chance, I should say, is to the west of us, but it's still something we got to keep an eye on. We do have a lot of cloud coverage associated uh, with this little disturbance that's swirling on through our area. Uh, that has helped at least minimize some of the instability, but again, we still have that chance to keep an eye on here. Let's go through it here step by step with future track again. For the rest of the afternoon, we could see an isolated storm or two develop. Uh, it doesn't look like anything widespread, but it's later on this evening when it looks like everything begins to flare up. We're also tracking this cold front like I talked about. Uh, it's going to begin approaching our western counties, say around the 7 o'clock time frame. And you'll notice again some of these prefrontal storms, we'll call them, uh, out ahead on the eastern side of the viewing area. Again, it's just some of those isolated storms that we could be talking about uh, that develop ahead of the main line. As you move throughout the time frame again, this looks a little bit later in terms of uh, moving through the area, uh, but it should gradually weaken as it works through the area as well. You'll notice this especially as you work towards uh, the area around Dubuque, for instance, Dubuque County, Clayton County. Uh, that's what we're looking at as we move into the early morning hours or late overnight hours rather. As you can see, 1, 2 o'clock heading into tomorrow morning. That line does weaken and the cold front works through uh, by early tomorrow morning. And following that front, we'll have some pretty strong westerly winds that'll take hold across most of eastern Iowa. All this being considered, we do have this yellow alert day that's in effect for tonight. Again, the main time frame we're looking at, just like you saw on future track, is about 7 p.m. this evening through about 1 or 2 a.m. for our eastern areas. And with that, our main threats are going to be damaging winds, and there is a minimal hail threat. And I can't rule out a spin-up or two, but again, that threat is pretty low and actually off to our south and to our west. Uh, but you will notice, again, our far western counties do have a level 2 out of 5 risk for severe weather. It's a slight risk, whereas the rest of eastern Iowa is just under a level 1 out of 5 risk. So something, of course, we'll be keeping an eye on as we head into the overnight time frame. But the good news is it looks like this line of storms that does develop weakens as it moves off to the east overnight. To sum this all up, highs this afternoon should mostly creep into the 80s. Could be a few upper 70s in there as well, but it will feel humid out there, to say the least. Tonight, again, it's our more likely chance for all of us seeing some storms, some of them strong to severe. We all begin to clear out just shortly after midnight, say around that 1 to 2 a.m. time frame we're talking about. Winds will shift out of the north and west following the cold front, and lows dip down to the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Heading into tomorrow, Pretty nice conditions, all things considered. Yes, it will be a bit windy, but we'll have lots of sunshine in store for us. High is hovering right around that 80 degree mark. Thursday temperatures drop a little bit more, lower to middle 70s. Very comfortable conditions with pretty low humidity and a lot of sunshine. That sticks around for Friday, even through the weekend. Check it out. High is right around that 80 degree mark. Partly cloudy skies. It sticks around even into the first half of next week.